So question six then from paper one of the 2021 Advanced Higher Maths resource paper. Four marks for, there's that question with acceleration, velocity, displacement. I'm just choosing the letter X here because it doesn't give me one to use. And they're all connected because the velocity is the rate of change of the displacement and the acceleration is the rate of change of the velocity. Going forward, you would differentiate. Going back, you'd integrate. Well, what does it say in part A? You have to find an expression for the displacement. Now, since it's an expression, the best thing to do is just integrate that straight away. There is another way you can do this, which would avoid having a constant by showing the integration in this form. See, if I was to split that apart, you don't need to do this or know this. It's the sort of thing you would do in mechanics if you had particular values to work out. So if you were to rearrange that, that would be dx equals v dt. So if you integrate that up, oh, it's not very good, then you could put in values like from 0 to x and 0 to t, and that would give you the general form without having any constants mentioned. The only problem is you get this clash of letters because there'll be a t getting used for the integrand and there's a t getting used for the final value you put in. And you don't really want to use exactly the same letter for both of them. So forgetting that, we'll just integrate it and get a constant and sort it out afterwards. So x is going to be the integral of 3t squared minus e to the negative 2t dx. Doesn't get a mark. Integrate it. Not polynomial term. Add 1 to the power. Divide by the power. That's just a 1. The SP exponential term stays the same except divide by the inner derivative, negative 2. So that'll be negative makes that positive, divide by 2, that's a half. But, plus c. That was the cost of doing it this way. But you can find that, see, because I've got this pair of values here, so I can just pop that pair of values in. x is 0 when t is 0. So 0 equals 0 plus a half of e to the 0 plus c. Well, e to the 0 is just 1. So that means that c is equal to negative a half. Which means your final answer will be, going back to this, t cubed plus a half of e to the negative 2t, and c was negative a half. Now, they've actually got the, the marks as starting to integrate for one mark and finishing the whole thing off for the other. You'd have thought it would just have been integrate it up, creating a constant. Find that constant to get the final one. And that would do it. In part B, what's the acceleration at t equals zero? Well, you know the displacement at t equals zero, that was zero. What was the acceleration? Well, to get the acceleration, you differentiate it's the rate of change of the velocity. So it just means I differentiate this. So differentiating that is multiply by the power, 6, take 1 off the power t. Differentiate this, stays the same. Except it's multiplied by the inner derivatives, so that'll make it a plus 2e. Doing that gets a mark, so there's the acceleration. So what's the acceleration at t equals 0? Well, t equals 0 means that a would be 6, I'll just put it in, 6 times 0 plus 2 times e to the, oh, I've done it now, times 0. Well, that's just 0. That's just a 1, so it's 2. But it's metres. It gave you units at the beginning. It said the velocity was metres per second, so this is metres per second squared for that mark.